Welcome back! We are trying to cross the mountains to reach Mordak's castle. And if there's one positive thing I can say about this game, it is that a lot of the locations are beautiful. The game really does look great. Graham can see a breathtaking view of distant snow-covered mountains towering majestically above a beautiful valley with a ribbon of river slicing through it. Indeed. Other than that, there's not much else going on. Yeah, okay, then Cedric got uh, captured by a hungry wolf, but who cares? Oh, alright, I suppose we have to rescue him. If we absolutely have to. They went down this slope, hopefully we can walk down there. Or slide down there, as the case may be. Do carefully... Ah! That last step was a doozy. Okay, that didn't go entirely according to plan. There must be an easier way to get down there, and in fact, there is. You can use your sled on this slope. Perfect place to do it, I would say. The game has suddenly turned into ski or die. <laughs> nice landing. Drat, my sled is broken. Note, by the way, that this is in fact the only way you can get by here, because although it is possible to walk down this path safely, this last bit will break if you try to cross it. So we also cannot go back. In the distance, snowy mountains loom above a lovely river valley. And our sled is now broken. Graham's sled lies in several broken pieces on the eastern side of the icy crevasse. Well, onwards we go, in search of, uh, Cedric. What do we have here? Some kind of snowy palace. A castle buried in snow and ice, perched precariously atop a steep pinnacle. As well as an eagle. A shivering eagle perches weakly upon a small rock. Despite his own problems, Graham's heart goes out to the poor thing. Well, he should know by now that helping animals is, uh, what we do in this game. So let's see what uh, the eagle's problem is. What's wrong, Mr. Uh, eagle? I'm so weak from hunger. I haven't been able to catch any food for days. I can barely fly anymore. I'd like to help you. Well, let me see what I can do. <coughs> Thank you. I need food. Poor thing. You know, if I were these uh, animals, I'd get offended by Graham addressing me by my species. I mean, how would you feel if somebody calls you Mr. Human? Anyway, Eagle wants food. I guess we could give him the custard pie. Not sure if he'd like that, but... I'm not entirely sure if you can give the custard pie to the eagle, by the way. If you can, it would make the game unwinnable once again. We actually have to give him the remainder of the uh, rack of lamb. Here, take this. Perhaps it will help you. You are a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird. Especially up here in these snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? You have shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. We made a new friend! 
who will undoubtedly help us out later. Now let's see what we can find in that uh, castle. Death, most likely. Or perhaps Cedric. Well, those do seem to be the same kind of wolves that captured Cedric. And now they've captured us. Albeit in a slightly less violent manner. I am Queen Isabella, and you have entered my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pet. Now you have a short amount of time to try and convince her otherwise. And the way to do that is with music. Yeah, who'd have thought? Warning, this cartoon contains material. Wait, my pet. That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting. Just a little bit. Just enough, that is, to allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious yeti has entered the area and taken up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid me of the yeti, I will release both you and your owl friend and you two can continue on your journey unhindered. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the Yeti. If you succeed, you will have my undying gratitude. Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. You may go now. Sir Grey Wolf will lead the way. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, it's better than being put to death. Although now I have to beat a Yeti! We were not so successful at that uh, last time in Kings of 3. There the best we could do was teleport by him. But in this case, we do need to um, actually find a way to defeat it. And none of the items we have are... Uh, really common tools one would use. Yonder's the crystal cave. There you will find the yeti. Um, thanks. Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to conquer a yeti. Why, he's got to be at least twice as big as me, and much, much more powerful. What do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabella, and I must carry out her wishes. Now, no more talking. Go to the Crystal Cave. Perhaps now you begin to appreciate just how uh, amazing it was for a game like The Longest Journey to have such excellent voice acting. Anyway. I guess we must attempt to fight this Yeti! Like I was saying, nothing we have really strikes me as something you'd normally use to uh, fight a Yeti. But we do in fact have something that will take care of him. And I'd like let you try to guess what it is, but you'll never guess unless you already know. There's the Yeti. What can we do? Um, hit him with a hammer? That will do nothing to help Graham fight the powerful Yeti. I guess not. What an abominable situation Graham has found himself in. I see what you did there, Mr. Narrator. Okay, so hammers are no use here. 
So what could we use? If you were in Graham's shoes, what would you use to defeat this all-powerful Yeti? Well, the answer to that should be obvious, now shouldn't it? The custard pie. No, I'm not kidding. Did the Three Stooges write this part of the game? Or Laurel and Hardy or something? Honestly, who came up with this? This is like the, the most illogical thing ever in a game that is filled with illogical puzzles. This one still manages to stand out. Honestly, if you'd, uh, uh, if you'd eaten the, uh, the custard pie earlier instead of the rag of lamb when you got hungry in the mountains, would you have realized that that is the mistake you made when you got here? Of course you wouldn't have. And since it was before the internet, it's not like you could just go over to uh, UHS Hints or something to figure out what you're supposed to do. No, you'd have to call the Sierra Hint line or buy a hint book. You know, people have accused Sierra of m putting these kinds of puzzles in uh, deliberately to get people to, to buy their hint books. And honestly, with this kind of nonsense, I'm inclined to believe it. There is just no way anyone could be expected to figure this out. If you did figure this out by yourself, by a process other than random luck, I'd like to know how you did it, because I have honestly no idea. Interesting looking cave, by the way. Through the yawning entrance of the cave, Graham can see many beautiful crystals sparkling and flashing from within. Well, since we're here anyway, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can sneak off and leave Cedric behind. Brilliant crystals flashing and sparkling and reflecting off the numerous waterfalls cause Graham to gaze in awe and wonderment at the dazzling spectacle before him. It is quite beautiful, I have to admit. One particularly brilliant crystal catches Graham's attention among all the other glittering crystals in the cave. Okay. Let's try and get it. As strong as he is, even Graham can't break the stubborn crystal with his bare hands. Oh, well, I guess a hammer might be more successful. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. All right, that's all we can do here. Well, with the Yeti defeated, let's return to Queen Isabella. Horrible name. But we'll do that in the next video.